This video is just about doing a uh, spring cleanup using this Ryobi pressure washer that I got a while back. Um, at first I didn't think about making a video about it, but then I got, I did the um, sidekick and um, golf cart and I said, well, maybe I should uh, do an update because this thing's been a great little machine. And, you know, I've used it all along for cleaning uh, machinery and, and here I am now. I'm cleaning out the, uh, the little Kubota BX um, that still had grass from last fall on it, mud from this winter on it. And, you know, it's kind of a mess and trying to get it cleaned up to um, get it ready for spring and just did an oil change on it and stuff so it's all ready to go. I just have to get the mower deck the blade sharpened and the deck on. So you can see, you know, I did a quick job. Now this machine's uh, 12 years old now. Unbelievable. It's, um, you know, it's been a nice machine, but there you can see I uh, already did the sidekick and the golf cart. Sidekick was just covered with mud from going down to the bottom of the hill. And now I got my truck out. Time to give this a clean up. It's pretty filthy. Um, hasn't been washed in a while. It's got, still got all that road salt and stuff up under the fender wells and on the bottom of it. So I try to get that out from behind all the running boards and stuff. And, Actually, you can um, also get in between the wheels pretty good. And aluminum wheels, you got this big flat spot on the inside that dirt gets in and throws them out of balance. So, and I'm just using the turbo nozzle now to get the, the worst of it off. And now I'm going to get this foam cannon out. Um, I'll put a link to this in the description. I really love this thing. And this Mr. Pink uh, I use all the time. Unbelievable how good that smells. Remember when you were a kid and you had the bazooka bubble gum? Well, that's what the whole yard smells like when you get done with this stuff. Well, same thing that just snaps on the end of the, the hose there instead of a nozzle. And um, you can see it actually does a real nice job of you know putting a coat of foam on there. And you can adjust it. You can make it a little bit thicker or thinner, you know, whatever you want. But this is what I find works best. And the, um, the foam then just kind of eats away at the dirt and helps to release it. So uh, let's make a quick job of rinsing it off. But I will tell you I'll never buy another black vehicle again because it's just so hard to try to keep them clean. They look good when they're clean, but 99.9% um, .9 of the time they're filthy. So, uh, you know, this is just quick Mr. Pink bubble gum foam on it and then it's time to rinse it off and I just put the 25 uh, degree nozzle on to rinse it off and this thing doesn't have a lot of pressure so you if you don't keep it in any one spot it shouldn't you know warp the metal or anything works really good uh, you now it makes a quick job of washing the car that I've you know used it many times now and actually this little machine still works good and I think it actually saves water over trying to do the hand wash with this soap in the bucket because the, um, the hose puts out a lot more than 1.2 gallons per minute when you're doing the uh, washing and rinsing. So this is, uh, you know, makes this a pretty quick job and it does get 95% of the dirt off. I mean, there's still some filament stuff that's going to have to come off when I wax it and buff it out a little bit, but, um, you can see it does get, you know, quite a bit of the, the dirt off there. Makes it nice and shiny. So this thing really, really does make it quick. And um, you can see I put those Flexilla hoses on it. Um, this, the one for the nozzle there is a 50-foot hose I put on it so I can get around everything and don't have to move it. And that's really worked out great. I'll put a link to the one I got in the description because um, you know, that makes it so you don't have to move the machine. You can go right around a car or truck with it and uh, no problem. And then it's time to just uh, dry it off a little bit. Now I'm out in the sun so I do have spots on it and stuff. But you know, you can see it's pretty clean now. Coming out clean. And one thing that amazed me is looking under the fender well. Remember that Chevy that I had the first year it rusted out? There's not a speck of rust underneath this thing. Even after I washed all that salt off, it's still nice and shiny black. Even the trailer hitch and everything just uh, 
you know, it just amazes me. They did a much better job at coating this than uh, GM does. And then it's time to give the wife Subaru a good clean up. Now, we love this car, too. It's been a great car. And uh, try to get down in those wheels, because like I said, they get dirt down there in, you know, the back of the aluminum wheels and stuff. And sticks in there. So I'm just using the turbo nozzle to try to clean out what I can on you know, the wheels and stuff. And don't want to wet the car too much with it. But, um, and then back to the foam cannon. And give it a good coat of foam. Let that soak in and, uh, you know, get some of the dirt off. And then the 25 degree nozzle. So you can see, um, you know, it's just a beautiful day. It's like 70 degrees out today again. And uh, I figured it was time to get these things cleaned up. I've been putting it off and putting it off. But just too hot to be out in the garden right now doing anything. And I still have to uh, go down and get some compost and stuff. So I'm a little bit behind, but I should catch up. So there it is, there's a nice shiny car. Boy, I love that color. Next truck I get is going to be that color. It's just uh, such a nice color and so easy to keep clean. So there it is. Um, that Royal B pressure washer did a great job and uh, you can see, you know, you can see the results. And another thing I'd recommend is I bought these quick connects. I bought this set off Amazon. It was really a cheap set, not that good or anything, but they actually work good and uh, make it easy to remove and drain the hoses out. So there it is. Everything's all uh, cleaned up and ready to go this summer. So just thought I'd do a quick update and you know show you that that pressure washer really has been a great machine. And it's perfect pressure for you know washing items like this and stuff. Not for heavy equipment or anything, but, you know, it really does work good on this stuff. And there you can see I finally finished rolling the yard yesterday. So that's all nice and flat and uh, ready to be mowed. So there it is. Um, I got this at Home Depot. Not even sure if they sell the same model anymore, but it's been a great machine. So nice to be outside in the fresh air again. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.